I watched a quilting bee video by Tree, in which she was pondering the question of what to do with the leftover pieces of the leftover quilt she was making. I posted a comment half in jest, saying that I would sew them all together haphazardly and dye the whole thing black. She replied that that was an idea, and offered to send me her leftover leftovers. When the box came and I opened it and began setting out the squares and pieces, I knew I would not be dyeing these fabrics. In fact, the pieces told me how this quilt would be. Thank you, Margaret. This is exactly the kind of creative outlet that I needed right now. Now, not only did Margaret invent the online quilting bee, she has now unwittingly invented the friendship quilt. I'm hoping some of you remember the friendship cake. It was made from a fruity, doughy batter that needed to ferment for days or maybe even weeks. I don't know how these cakes were started, but someone would give you a bit of the starter batter and then you added ingredients and set a portion of it aside to pass on to your friend. I love this idea. It's as if a long string of people are all sharing the same everlasting cake. I wish I had the recipe to start one. If anyone out there has it, please let me know. And now Tree has passed on to me the starter batter for my leftover friendship quilt. Hopefully I'll find a taker for my leftovers and the leftover friendship quilt will go on. You know, it doesn't really make sense that there seems to be negative connotations associated with the word leftovers. It's actually a wonderful thing. If you have leftovers, it means that you have more than enough. It means that you have enough to share. <laughs>